Welcome to Your Health with Dr. Stephanie. I'm Dr. Stephanie Herodopoulos. Do you feel like you always have a lump in your throat, difficulty swallowing, chronic coughing, or perhaps hoarseness or a weak cracking voice? Do you feel like you always have excessive mucus in your throat and a post-nasal drip but you're not sick? Then you just may have laryngopharyngeal reflux, or LPR. LPR is a disorder in which acid reflux ejects from the stomach to the back of the throat and voice box due to dysfunction of the lower and upper esophageal sphincters. Many people with LPR do not have symptoms of heartburn, which is why it is sometimes underdiagnosed or misdiagnosed. Acid that passes quickly through the esophagus does not have a chance to irritate that area for too long, which is why patients do not present with heartburn. However, Acid that pulls in the throat and voice box will cause prolonged irritation, resulting in the symptoms of LPR. I myself had LPR, and I presented with hoarseness, chronic postnasal drip, and coughing. I was seen by Dr. O'Hare, a local ENT physician, who performed a laryngoscopy in an office. This procedure enables your physician to visualize your voice box and surrounding structures. It is easily done in the exam room during your visit and does not require prep or sedation. And if the area is red and inflamed, as mine was, you may have LPR. Treatment for LPR is a combination of lifestyle and behavioral modifications as well as medications. LPR cannot be ignored. If left untreated for a prolonged period of time, the acid that causes the chronic irritation of the tissues could lead to cancer. The following are some pearls of advice to follow. Quit smoking. Smoking will cause reflux by decreasing the tone of the lower esophageal sphincter. Avoid tight-fitting clothes around the waist. Elevate the head of your bed six inches and avoid eating at least three hours before bed. Lose weight. For patients with recent weight gain, shedding a few pounds is often all that is required to prevent reflux. Avoid certain foods such as caffeinated, carbonated, and alcohol beverages particularly at night. And also avoid cheese, fried foods, citrus, spicy foods, and red sauce and chocolate. Medications may be initiated to reduce stomach acid, such as proton pump inhibitors and H2 blockers. These are medications like Prilosec and Zantac. Surgery is a last resort. Rarely there are individuals who have severe LPR resistant to medical management and lifestyle modifications. Surgery is then recommended to tighten the lower esophageal sphincter. The procedure is called a Nissen van application. Most patients will begin to notice some relief in their symptoms in about two weeks. However, it is generally recommended that the medications be continued for at least two months. And if the symptoms completely resolve, the medication can then be begin to be tapered. But the lifestyle and behavioral modifications should be lifelong habits. For more information on this topic and more health news, check out Your Health with Dr. Stephanie, which runs every Thursday in Florida Today's health section, or visit floridatoday.com.